we're going to replace this outlet with USB outlet. So we'll start by removing the cover plate of this outlet. And then after removing this outlet, you will realize that this could have been wired in a few ways. So backstabbing method, which is wiring could be connected to the back of the electrical outlet, or it could be wiring could be mounted to the side screws of this outlet. So in either case, we have to disconnect it. So if it's connected this way on the side screws, you will have to disconnect and then we'll straighten those wires. So if you have this scenario where you have your outlets connected to the back of the outlet, you will need to use a smaller flathead screwdriver to depress the pins, which will release these wires. So that's the easiest way to remove it. So once we have this outlet out of the way, another thing we need to make sure that the depth of the electrical box is enough for us to insert the new one, which is pretty wide and also pretty deep. So I'm gonna use um, my screwdriver to insert just to measure that if I have enough room to put this outlet in there because sometimes you have electrical boxes that are super tight in that case I do not recommend installing but if you have enough room for this outlet to be in there you can proceed further but in our case we have plenty of room and this is only one pair of wires we have one neutral wire one hot wire so we're going to use our pliers to straighten the wires because we're going to be inserting it into under the terminals where it just goes straight in it has washer and bolt that just holds these wires in there so if you have to uh, strip a wire cut it off uh, you can do that I just don't want to shorten these existing wires already short wires so I'm gonna just straighten the already stripped section of these wires and then I'll just cut off just a little bit of a section because I don't want these to be too long as well because you will need uh, just enough to insert under the washer and also you don't want that stripped section of the electrical wire sticking out of the uh, electrical box basically electrical connector so you can see it has two terminals white uh, screw which says white neutral and then we have hot brass screw which is on the right side that's where we're gonna have our uh, hot terminal connected so we're gonna start with the uh, neutral uh, basically ground wire green wire in some cases you will have just bare copper so that's your ground use flathead screwdriver tighten it make sure it's tight enough if you have to do just pull do a little bit of a pull test after connecting after basically tightening it enough you can see right here I'm about to mount the neutrals um, uh, wire in some cases you have two wires in some cases you have three four pairs of wires so if you know pigtailing method that's the only way to go if you have more than two pairs of wires uh, but in this case we only have just end of the circuit one wire one pair of wire so I'm gonna connect it and you can see in my case that strip section is not too long it's not sticking out of the um, basically outlet which will not make a contact with this metal electrical box and it will not short out so that's the only reason why I'm not making it too long because that's the code as well you don't want it to um, you don't have you don't need to have too long of a strip section because we want to have that isolation and right where we insert this so after doing this uh, I'm gonna demonstrate you uh, another method where uh, we have two pairs of wires you can see before I insert the wire uh, basically outlet into the electrical box I'm gonna create sort of this S curve where I will pre-bend the uh, wiring before I push it in there so I don't break it so you can see this is another scenario where I have two pairs of wires so in this case I can connect two neutrals on one side under um, white uh, screw and then brass screw goes our hot terminal so in many cases you will have black wires but in my case this is older building so you can see in either case before I put the outlet in there I'm bending the wires already and then when I touch the outlet just pay attention I just touch top screw just a little bit couple threads and the bottom screw as well 
a little bit of a uh, threads and then I'm going to use my plug tester just to make sure that uh, when I tighten it it's not getting stuck and also I use it to wiggle and also straighten the outlet and then when I try to tighten the electrical outlet it will be very very easy and also you will have to level this and one way to do it is if it's already tight you can use your just like I did with flat head screwdriver you can just slide it to the sides and then once you are happy with the leveling and the, your final result you're gonna put the cover plate on and then after putting the cover plate on if the surface doesn't look flash and if it looks a little bit cricket you can again use the plug tester or anything you can just plug into it and then twist it a little bit so it will be flash so that's how you install usb outlet thanks for watching